Hi, I'm Dominic Bender. Thanks for watching Dominic's Woodworks. Today I'm going to be making a cheap and dirty center finder. Jack Howling made one of these using well, wood and a parallelogram on his drill press table and it was made in such a way that the two the two sides of the parallelogram being parallel and all would always center this looks weird always center on the, the center of the drill, so if you put something between them, notched it together, you'd always hit the center line. It's a good idea, and I might make something like that at some point, but I had an idea how to, how to improvise something like that. It's not actually an easier or better way to do this, but it is a way to reclaim something that's not wood, but, well, let me start at the beginning. I tend to hoard things. Well, not actually hoard them, but sometimes I just can't walk past uh, a great offer, even if it happens to be somebody else's trash. So recently I picked up a, an old printer at work. I don't really need another printer, but those do have nice hardware in them. And one thing I was intrigued with is uh, this mechanism in the paper drawers where you have two, two thingies that you can close or open depending on the size of paper you're using. Let me show you what I did with one of these trays. The tray I used had this metal thing and it just had to go. It wasn't pretty but I couldn't help it. So, here we have the end result. A uh, couple of quick notes. I did use the bandsaw, although I don't know whether that's the, the proper tool or my saw blade is the, the proper, has the proper teeth for plastic, but it did work. The only thing you might have to take care of are these places where you switch from large amount of plastic to it's a very small amount, and the plate actually did jam at one point, but the next time I took care to take these places slow and there was no problem. So now basically how this works, at least it does with this design, you might have to modify yours a little bit. I have these two pieces, there's a small lever, and I can move them like this and ideally if you put it on your drill press table and aim for this hole or as I said you might have to modify yours if there isn't such a hole you need to drill one I probably would go there close to the mechanism anyway if you put this on there align it with your drill and it doesn't really matter which way clamp it down. You might have to put some piece of scrap wood underneath, but this is actually well, not that sturdy, but if your drill press table is large enough, it should do, and if it isn't, scrap wood is the way to go. You can put something between, center those, and drill away. Just in case you need to drill something small, you can place two equally spaced slats against these jaws and still use this if you feel so inclined. I um, almost forgot something. In the usual pin printer cartridge, at least those I know you have these for the width of the paper, there's another one for the length. And this one, at least in this case, went here. 
this probably isn't of much use unless you leave more of this part of the tray in. If you do, there's a number of notches for this one to grab into and you might be able to use it as a dev stop. But I didn't really think it necessary and I can still put it here and if I ever need this in this configuration, I can work with additional spacers here to make the kind of depth stop that I need. Uh, I hope you like the idea. Let me know what you can salvage from an old printer. Maybe it's something woodworking related. Who knows? Thanks for watching. Please like the video or comment if you have any feedback or questions. If you are new, so please subscribe to my channel so you never miss one of my awesome videos. At some point they will be awesome. Seriously. Anyway, thanks for watching. Two chisels. And if it wasn't plain enough that this is a great offer, we throw in a plane. So all that's left to do is just grab it Here you can see all those, I can't 